Displaced victims of recent attacks on Jebu Miangu have uh, currently taking refuge at a worship center have been urged to forgive and let go of all bitterness. The Chairman Christian Association of Nigeria Plateau State Chapter made the appeal during a visit to present some relief items to the victims at a temporary camp in Miangu community. A Plateau State correspondent for Nom Joshua reports. The chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Plato Step Chapter, led the delegation comprising of leaders of Christian communities in the state. The first port of call was the palace of the traditional ruler of the Irigui nation, where they sympathized with him over the series of attacks and killings witnessed in the area in recent times. The group then proceeded to a temporary internally displaced persons camp, hosting some locals and more victims of the attacks. The relief items brought by the visitors were then handed over to the leaders of the camp for onward distribution to the affected victims. For the people, we want them to accept what, whatever has happened so that they will have peace of mind within themselves. And they have, they have to imbibe the spirit of forgiveness because they really need to have the spirit of forgiveness so that they will have an inner healing for themselves. Well, if they don't forgive, you create room for vengeance. If you don't, if you don't forgive, you create room for retaliation. If you don't receive, you, 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 you create room for attacks and the rest of them. So, but once they have the spirit of forgiveness, it brings a lot of healing and it gives them a lot of sense of hope that in Christ, in everything, you have your joy, you have your peace. So we chatted with a few of the displaced victims on what life is following the aftermath of the invasion. It has not really been easy. It has been a very turbulent situation in my life, but I thank God that I'm alive and then I am uh, working out modalities on how to see that I move on with my life, knowing fully that the material things that have been destroyed, my house, my farm crops, uh, can as well be obtained if I am alive. A youth leader in the community also shared their plight. Don't allow their cattle to re eat grasses. They only eat grace on our farm cross. That's the major challenge we are having. So we are calling on the security, we are calling on the government to send more security for us so that they can safe guide those farms that is left for our people. I also want to go back and cultivate those farms. Nigerian government through the office of the vice president some times ago promised to donate the sum of 10 billion naira towards resettling all victims of ethno-religious crisis on the plateau. Redeeming this pledge will go a long way in solving the many challenges bedeviling these displaced people. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Miangu.